Okay, so, so MySQL D, see if you have anything exe. MySQL SQL D D and hit tab. Okay, enter. Oh, all is debug. It's done. Can you hit more? Um, so which one do I do? Uh, I think there's two executables. Um, How many do you have executable one? I have client test executable and then uh, debug executable. It's the only ones I see. Uh, okay, one second. I'm Can you do one thing? Uh, just go back to CMD. Can you go to CD, my, um, MySQL D, CD, space, MySQL D. Enter. I think you have to use it. Uh, B, yes. allow MySQL D. MySQL D. MySQL D. Uh, All right, type one thing. MySQL space SQL space dash U what? Dash U, U for user, dash U space root space dash P enter. MySQL is not recognized. So I um, just to clarify, I did not install anything on my computer. I just uh, downloaded the, the zip file and then extracted the zip file. And the zip file that I extracted is right here. Okay, so I'm, get the MSI installer. Which is, did you put it? Did you put it here? Okay, just get the installer from the hangout. Where I can see it. Sorry, what was that? Did you get the installer from? It's, it's, I don't see it. Did you put it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, no, I don't see it. It's not. Oh, it's not a hangout then. Oh, you oh. went. Okay. All right. All right. Let's. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Lawson, yes. Last, uh, last link we have in Hangout. No, 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 no. Okay, I see. So I have to download the installer separately so I can install what yeah. I download first time. Okay, I will try that. Thank you. Sure, try that, guys. It's a little different from Mac to Windows, so uh, just bear with me. Everyone will be fine. Yeah, same. Anyone else need help? Please download MSI and get installation done. What do you mean? Apply every configuration. What about the video enabled? I didn't Oh, 
just press X on your to apply the change. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just figured it. Through. It just check marks them. Yeah. Would you, would you do it for that? I'm yeah, so sure. good. Uh, Did you run mobile GP? Yes. Sorry? No, this is the other. Oh, no, but you have to run it to command. You never use it again? Bilal, what? Bilal? I'm still having, like, I'm still struggling uh, installing it on uh, a Mac. Uh, the Mong MongoDB, I think I got uh, the um, MySQL server running, but I still can't really connect to it. Okay, sure, we'll take a look. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, MySQL dash U, and then your username, and dash T, then press the And so, uh, okay, can you see? Okay, so, there you go. Okay, that's so, funny. So I'm actually trying to install this um, MongoDB using Homebrew. Um, it's kind of stuck here, but I did get the MySQL running, but I can't seem to uh, execute anything. Do I have to restart the computer for that? Um, no. Guys, I mean the server is running, right? The server is running. Uh, yes. Uh, so check your own. Yeah, it's, I use the same password for root and for my own. Uh, we need to work back. Check your password. Well, wait a minute. Fine. Do you know where my SQL is installed? Uh, was installed in its. Uh, so copy that. Uh, that command. Oh, no. I'm on. I'm sorry. Yes. What's happening? I, I, I still haven't been able to successfully use my password to log into SQL. I don't know what's happening uh, on your system. Yeah. All other Mac are able to connect. Uh, so somehow you retrieve the password. Uh, either you can reset it and. Uh, we have to take a look later on. Just now work with MongoDB then. Can't connect the local MySQL server to socket. Socket. Yeah, it's ha you have to remember password, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, the password's uh, working now, uh, apparently, but uh, I can't connect to the SQL server through socket. Can't MySQL soc2. Can you try the standard without socket? Rashid, go down, all the way down. All the way? Yeah, a little down. Shutting down. Okay, copy, copy this one time. Copy this one. Did that? That's good. So after Mongo EXE, copy the DB path. DB path. Copy the MD DB path. Okay. You copy that command, next command. You don't have to do all that from here. Try to think. You already on the exe. Just copy the rest command. After the exe, after the ex, copy the rest of the command. After the exe, you don't have to do that partition. See, I told you, just pick up those Unix and Linux command. Before you type, you have, you have to say mongo, mongo d dot exe dot remove. Just simply mongo d dot exe space then then the db path. So just paste it here. Enter. So it's starting now. It's starting now. It didn't start for you. Uh, well, you don't have that DB path here. Can you do 
Open another CMD. Another CMD? Yeah, follow the steps. See, you have to create a data path, right? MD slash data dot slash path and try to figure out where, where it's located and copy it over. In the DB path, you say C drive test slash MongoD slash data, right? This is how it works. If you, just follow these steps, please. I'll come back to you. Uh, right? I give you. What about, um, what about the SQL? Just. <coughs> wow. Right here? Just. Oh. Next. What is the password? Uh, I don't know what's the password. Um, any random password I put? I cannot remember you, all of your password, right? I cannot remember oh, every system password, guys. You have to remember your password. Just I never set up a password, though. Well, you should have a password. Just enter it then. OK. Next. So you're setting up now. OK. Next. Next. It's cute. That's for that's for Mac. Also for Mac. If you click on it. All the stuff into the DB file, or no, just copy this one. And okay, and then just indicate this in a terminal. Yeah, and then run the model. Okay. Yeah. okay, just finish. What else you can do there? Yeah. Check. Click on check if it's there or not. Okay, successful. Next. So running server. Yeah. So,
you need to learn those command line. Okay, and then from then, uh, well, then MySQL. Why is, why is it two separate work? MySQL has been doing for one word. Uh, space dash u for user. And the root is the username, so root. Dash p for password. Space, enter. Enter the password now. Okay, you're connected now. Now you can okay. see which database you are, which table you want to create, and so on. Okay. All right, thank you. Anyone else? I don't know. Anyone else? Guys, please mute yourself. Yeah. So, I download it is that the MySQL? Yes, it's SQL. Okay. So I try to create a folder that has all these information. Okay. Do the dual parameters of this? Yes. CHMOD from the CHMOD from the CHMOD from the CHMOD Set up all this in, uh, in the Dropbox somewhere. Yeah, we'll do that. But for now, uh, in terms of the exam, let's uh, finish up setting up. I mean, I'm not. You don't have to do it right now. You can do. It. I mean, I will follow that notes and I, I will do my own. Uh, but is that a is that a, is that a difference for the Mac? Uh, well, it's slightly different from Mac and Windows. What, uh, what operating system do you have? I have Mac. Okay. So you done the multiple. I'm sorry, I can hear you. Did you install MySQL yet? I haven't done anything. I actually logged in late, but uh, my, my apology. But uh, uh, if you can put the notes, I can do my own. I yes. send the command, which is link for MySQL DMG in the Hangout. Just grab it okay. from me. And if you follow the steps for MySQL, it should be easy. Uh, and it is in Hangout, you said, right? Hangout, uh, I'm going to show you the link. What time you posted, guys? You remember? Uh, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, no, it's around 10:48. Uh, so get the command, get the link from there, download it. It should be easy for uh, for Mac. Okay, sure, I'll do that. Thank you. Please do it now. If you need the, for the exam, we need it. Oh, okay. Let me do it now. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Lawson? 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 Guys, if your hand is up, please talk to me, otherwise, put it down. Be the light. Yes, sir. So I was able to get uh, SQL Pro running. The reason uh, we weren't able to connect it is because we had to change the temporary. Uh, mm. Is my screen on? Yeah. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. So, for MongoDB is this. 
So you can download a few ways. If you want, if it's Mac, you can do it to the Homebrew, which is a nice installer. If you follow the commands of MongoDB installation by Homebrew, list of commands is there. Brew install MongoDB, and then uh, once after you install, you can create a directory which is for database. Just say db um, mpdr or md slash db slash some file. So the way MongoDB works is this. Once you install, under bin folder you will have some process. In in Windows we call mongod.exe. That's the shell. Well, that's the center of database. MongoD. So MongoD is the center of database that you need to connect to. So once you run MongoD, and to connect to MongoD is the command is uh, if it's Mac, say it, it might have to do it dot slash MongoD. First run it. Once you connect that MongoD process, to connect with the this MongoD by a client, client could be this. Client could be this, and client to run client. Mongo. So Mongo shell is the client that connect to MongoD. So if you don't run MongoD first, you won't be able to connect the Mongo shell, Mongo shell client to the MongoD process. So MongoD process has to be running first in order to connect by any client. You can, you can connect by multiple clients, but let's first run MongoD. So while you're running MongoD, you might have problems. So one thing about that is MongoD is running locally. So now database could be in your cloud, like Amazon AWS or MLab or MongoDB Atlas, right? Those are the process you could uh, running. You can connect to that from your shell. So right now we're dealing only running in uh, local MongoD. But in a production environment, you can run not in local, you don't have to be in local, but in cloud services like Atlas server, MLab server, and you configure yourself uh, running MongoDB server in AWS or Amazon Azure, and that can connect to this uh, to the Mongo shell. So these two processes you need under MongoDB database under bin folder you have these two processes run two processes to be run. So first run MongoD in local. Then slowly later on we'll discuss about how can you upload how can you run process in cloud. Just for today the exam purpose our main focus is on MySQL, but I also want to everyone get uh, optional that if you can also run MongoD, that you can run both database on your machine, you can store some of the exam uh, data into these databases. That's the plan. So if you're struggling with MongoD, uh, we'll take a look. But my machine is running mostly in cloud, uh, but I'll see, uh, I'll try to show running in local too. Now, some people are able to run MongoDB on your machine, some are don't. If you're not, Fortran, did you post it? I just, yeah, I just finished that. Okay, so Fortran is going to post those uh, steps in uh, um, in Hangout. Follow the steps, guys. I will spend a few more minutes. If you can successfully run those process, that's great. For MongoDB, otherwise, leave it alone. We'll do it maybe next Saturday, whenever we meet next time. But let's not you know, waste any more time. Uh, we have to get the exam, uh, exam started. So let's take a few minutes and everyone follow the steps from Hangout Rooms who can post it. Okay, so So go to bean folder, all right, and Type mongodb.exe and then mongo.exe. Oh, let's see if I have it here too.
Mongo is not MongoDB.exe. It's MongoD.exe. No, no, it's this one, MongoDB. Oh, did I try DB now? Yes. I tried MongoDB. No. Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's MongoDB, sorry. Guys, it should yeah. be MongoDB. Yeah, MongoDB. Yeah, MongoDB. Okay, MongoDB, yes, yeah, did that. What is it? Okay, so uh, did you not create the directory in C? It's, yeah, yeah. C drive? Yeah, C drive, data, and uh, yeah. DVD. I think we did this in uh, in under MongoDB, but we can do it uh, simply C drive better, right? Uh, new folder. Oh, well, because by default it looks in the C drive. You have to yeah. So you said just DB, right? No, data and then another folder inside data called DB. Data and another folder called DB. DB. So it's an important one, guys. It's shutting down is because you don't have this database uh, where it is stored. So MongoDB has to know which part of your machine you want to store the data, right? So by default, it's looking at the C drive. So in the C drive, create a folder called data slash DB, right? Once you have this, make sure you have this. And then you can go back to your CMD and type that mongod.dxe and you see now it started. Allow access. So if you start it, so mongodb started now, right? So this mongodb started. And where? In the C drive, it's taking some space under data slash DB. So once it started, now it's ready in Mongo shell to connect. You can go to another, another terminal, right? You can go to another terminal and Right? What do you type? Mongo dot exe. This is the Mongo shell to connect to MongoDB. Is it connected? Yes, it's welcome to the MongoDB. Yes. So this is two process you need to connect to MongoDB database. Everyone with me? Uh, First, guys, first MongoDB, uh, MongoDB yeah. type MongoD, make sure you have data slash DB on your C drive. Yeah, I have it. Once the MongoD started, then run Mongo. Dot slash Mongo. Lawson, did you follow that step now? Mafi Bai, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, so I did what you just said. Um, I created the uh, you know, data and then DB. So, and then I, I'm in my bin folder, and I do um, mongo.exe. Yeah, but it says connecting, and then it failed to connect right here. All right, so this is Okay, so... Um, so it looks like some other people have the same problem, but so I have a, um, under my C drive, I have data, and then I have DB, so that's, that's and then I'm uh, here in command prompt, I am in my uh, MongoDB folder under bin, and then I, I, I run um, mongo.exe, and then it says trying to connect, and then connection failed. You're not following, as I said, you first connect, you have to start the MongoD first, then Mongo. Oh, okay. So, mongod.exe. Oh, okay. Mongo. It's fine. Well, Start another access. Now open another command line. Another command line? Yes. So another. Okay. Then go to that bin folder. Um. Okay. One second. 
Um, I don't know. I'm doing the one line, don't do multiple lines, guys. Don't worry about the work, just learn it now. Everyone is worried about what you're going to do in the workplace. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you, Mafi. Bye. Okay, you connected? Yes, all set. Thank you very much. Learn. If you think about the profit of learning it, you already about that. How much you're making by learning MongoDB? Don't worry about that. First, learn. I don't need this other uh, window, right? No, don't close it. If you close it, it's going to you know just minimize it. Oh, okay. Th uh, thank. Amon? Amon? You're not talking, Amon. Okay. Mohamed Khan? Yes, Mohamed Khan. Yes. Okay. Can I share my screen for a second, if you don't mind, please? Sure. Thank you. All right. So Fulton, for data slash db, what did you do in my uh, Mac? So what I did, uh, is the password. Uh, for your Mac, I think they, or you I think you have to, you go know, into your root folder, create a data, and then a db. And then root folder. Yeah. But I thought you guys put the MongoDB file so, just connection. What happened now? If you so I entered the password, right? My new password. So I did test connection, and it said successful. Okay. And if I said okay, then if I click okay here, okay. Oh, yeah. and it said, please enter a proper name for your new connection. You can name it. Uh, just simply any name. But this one, I mean here, right here. Right. So just say anything. Just name anything, pretty much, right? Okay, so you can so set up is ready now, right? You can try to from. Did you try to connect from command line uh, terminal? Command line, I change the password from here. Okay, perfect. So now you set from my SQL. Okay. So do I need a Mango, uh, MongoDB or? Later, but uh, try to you know work on it now. If not, do it later. At least you can use my uh, MySQL for the exam. Yeah. Okay. MySQL is working. Thank you very much. Okay. Anyone else? Aman. Uh, sorry, Mafi Boy. I, I was speaking. I didn't know that it was. Uh, um, anyways, Mafi Boy, uh, can I share my screen with you real quick? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Uh, Okay, Mom, but I just want to make sure I'm uh, I'm uh, caught up. I'm right here. Okay. Mom, everybody. Go ahead. Uh, I'm right here, Mom. Everybody, you want me to connect to MongoDB? MongoDB. Okay. Why me? Why with me? I'm gonna go to B for you. Okay, now we can do mongod dot slash maybe enter first if it works. No, dot slash before mongod. Enter. So you need to create the data DB uh, on your uh, root folder. Not here. Uh, Sachin. Sachin. Yes. Where do you create data DB on your uh, Mac? Uh, we we have to do it on the root folder. Otherwise, we specify it over here after uh, MongoD. If we're not specifying any path, then it would consider it as the folder would be in the root uh, directory. Right. Yes. So um, Aman. 
go to root folder and created MongoD. Root folder. Uh, in, in your Macintosh uh, HD, open find, just find. In what? You uh, go in Finder, yeah. Uh, just go in. Uh, just click on Go on the taskbar uh, on the menu. Yeah, go and then uh, my computer. J just computer. Yeah, Macintosh HD. Right here, yeah. Moment, you can also find, I believe. The core Java database name. You can walk in core Java and create your own database name. How do you create database? Go to terminal or Mac uh, or Windows command line and and you say create database core Java. Or you could say whatever you want to name. So this is how you can create database. And then say use core Java if you use switch to the new database. Database changed. Fine. Then create a table called table lowest number. Column lowest and is integer. So you're going to store some data into this table and column. And you can start inserting some data into this uh, table. Then once you start, you can say select data from the table. So now you can do the creating table here, but from the code also you can do rest of the things like inserting data into tables, creating the tables, retrieving data from the tables, or everything can be done by your writing some method. So some methods are already implemented. Rest you can build on your own. So these are the utility method you can use in order to store some data. So one example we to show that what we're looking for uh, before we go over the exam. So one of the problems in the exam we're saying find the lowest number from the given array. So array is given and you're going to find the lowest number is, is unsorted. So we are saying connect to database and Declare a array list. Well, this array list is. Are you using it? Yeah. Mm, okay. This pattern, or you say lowest value. So once you connect to database, declare array list. And once you connect to database, you will insert data into the MySQL database. What are you passing? The array. Okay. Then what, what is the name of the table? Table lowest number. What's the name of the column? Column lowest number. And then you have, you have to read database from the there's a method in your connect DB we have called read database. And it's you're gonna pass the table name, the column name. And at the end, you're going to see the values read it. So first, what you're going to do is store into the array, then store into database. Then once you read data from database, then you can do the process here. Implement a method to find the lowest number, and that you can process here. Then you can, you can read it afterwards. Or you can also store unsorted, or, or you can also first find the lowest number, then you store into this uh, table or database, and then, then you can retrieve. It's your choice. What I'm saying, what here is, the question we are asking, write solution to find the lowest number, and use database, one of the database, one of the databases, from MySQL or MongoDB to store and to retrieve. Right? So one thing is to find the lowest value from the array. Then second uh, criteria is to store into the database and retrieve from database. So let's debug this. It will be much clearer. 
So we have the array. Array has those numbers. And we want to connect to database first. Before you connect to database, we have to create an instance of ConnectDB. This is what we are doing, ConnectDB. What is the ConnectDB? ConnectDB is right here, the database. So you can create an instance of ConnectDB. And then we're going to create a array list. Then we are going to connect DB dot insert data from array to MySQL. So we are here now on the connect DB uh, class, and there's a method called insert data from array to MySQL. And, it, and inside of this method, we have connect to database, which is this method is on the top. OK, fine. Let's debug into it. So connect to database. So connect to database, in order to connect to database, you have to pass those properties information, which is MySQL driver, and URL connection, which is localhost, username, password. Everything is coming from where? This property is fine. All you have to do is change the password. So rest, you're going to pick up from these properties. Right? So now, this ISM it already have this, right? Values are right here. And then, so if we, if we go now, so now this connect DB has all the information you need. The driver, URL connection, right? Username is the root. Password is the password, right? And now this is the line is uh, actually executing to connect to database. Once you have all the information you need, right? Now it's going to connect. Well, this this line is to be loading the driver. Now connect equals driver manager dot get connection. So we are passing URL, username, password. So this line actually is connected to database. That's it. We connected. If you are not up to this point, that means something went wrong in terms of this loading the properties file or the connection failed because of the password and username invalid. So after this line is successful, we are able to connect to database. So once you connect to database, we are going to enter into that table. The table number we pass. What is the table number we pass? Table lowest number. What is the column name we pass? Column lowest number. What is the error that we pass? List of data we pass. Ready? So the list of data passed into this table name, into this column name. So we are able to insert into this. So it's going to execute, right? Uh, So we, are, we, are, we, are, we already entered, and then this line is done. So no failure. We are able to insert. Now we are able to read data from the database. And you're going to put in the console. You see those data is coming here, right, in the console? Great. You can also take a look here. If you say, Select start from lowest value. We see now in the command line that all of lowest number from this table, from this four job database, all the number inserted. But this is unsorted. What you could do, that's the second criteria we are asking, that you must find the lowest number. Well, this is one case. But if we say another criteria that, hey, sort this out in sorting algorithm, then you're going to store in solid algorithm. But the point is here, this is the one example I gave you to store how to connect database, how to store it, how to insert it. The rest, you can, you can add more method as you need. As you face the problem, you can add more things as you need. You can ignore this test connection. This is uh, to be not using it. Uh, OK, so now let's go over the exam. What are you asking? Break. Like 10 minutes. Break? Yeah, we're going to go, go over the, uh, of, of course. Okay.
So you want to, before exam, you want to take a break? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, you want to take a break? All right, fine. How, many, how long? It's 1 o'clock. Huh? 20 minutes? The more you take, it will take less time. So after you. Uh, yes? Uh -huh. Database doesn't care what you're storing, right? But we are storing the array. If we declare array, we're storing the array. Yes. It, it could be anything. Database can store anything, right? Image or uh, integer. All right, so the guys, take half an hour break. Uh, so 1.30, we'll be back. 1.30, we'll be back. Meanwhile, if you have a problem with database, fix it. Uh, my SQL. What is happening there? MongoDB jar downloads. Uh, we don't need it. So I did download it. I'll push it now. Get uh, and let's go. Get with them. Okay, now pull it again, so you'll have the remote error message. Pull it again, please. Once you pull it from master, right, you need to merge onto your branch and work on your branch. Don't work on the master branch. Please, everyone, please work on your branch. So simply merge it. Uh, the way to merge it, maybe git checkout master, right, and this is a git merge. 
git merge your branch name. See if it works. Unless you, you wrote some code there and and then it's branching, uh, merging maybe you have to take extra steps. Let me know if you have config. Everyone pull it now from Aman. Can you just sc scroll up a little bit in your um, terminal? Yes. Did you fix your problem? Uh, no. Okay, so work with MongoDB. Okay, I'll just work with MongoDB. Yeah. So you're exceptional. Everybody else can work with the... Guys, one thing. Since both databases are working for you, so you can do try, try to use both. So for different problems, use different databases. That way you can learn both databases. Uh, Amon, you can do some MongoDB. Uh, so git march, after you do git checkout master, first you do pull. So git pull, git pull origin master, and then say git checkout master, right? Then do git march your branch name, and see if it's there. Once you mark your branch, then git checkout your branch name. So, uh, Mafi Bai, could you uh, uh, just run me through really quickly, uh, step by step, the, the beginning of uh, setting this up that you want us to do? Because I just restarted my computer. Oh, so, uh, I didn't go over the exam yet. Simply let's go over. Simply let's uh, merge it onto your branch. Then we'll go over the exam. Okay. So I just opened up um, my command, my terminal. I entered git, and now um, you said git pull. Git pull origin master. Origin origin master. Not a git repository of the parent directory is dot git. You have to be that uh, coding uh, what do you call it? exam number 16 but uh, repository first, you know, to execute git command. Everyone, merge it. It's not it's not showing me anything. I mean it's not it says it's already up to date, but then there's but okay, do one thing. Can you see all this uh, under source? Uh, no, on, on my, my machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. First, git pull origin master. Yeah. Okay, fine. And then, can you say git checkout master? Yeah. Then can you say git march your branch name? I did that. It says already up to date. Okay, good. Can you say git checkout your branch name? Yeah, switch to browser. Okay, good. Now, if you open, can you see? There's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing in the git of, uh, it shows up in the. No, uh, I haven't opened it. Right. All right, can you open IntelliJ? Yes. Yeah. All right, show your screen, Mr. Sure. Unless actually, um, there's one thing here. It says, I don't know. If it, is this supposed to show dot idea slash workspace dot is that? No, this is this a different one. Uh, okay. uh, you have to have and the source. And the source, you should have all the package. Uh, um, I should be down there. How come I cannot make a presenter? Wow. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Now take a look on foreground machine. So you cannot say git status. See which branch you want. On branch foreground. All right. Now. Can you just go back to IntelliJ? Show me what you have. No, those should be gone. Uh, we restructured. Now go back to your um, uh, what do you call uh, command line. Fine. Over here, I say git, git, git stash. Okay, enter. Now say git pull origin master. Oh, one word. Git stash. Enter. Enter. 
Just don't say enter. We want to need a press. That's what I did. Okay. So, okay, fine. Now say git pool origin. Master. There you go. There you go. So now, now say git. It's not a simple to no. It's not another command to stash. Stash. Oh yes. So do git stash before you pull. So now do git pull or is it already right? Yeah. Okay. Now it says git check out master. Now switch to master. Now say git merge. Mr. Furkan, don't type Fur Mr. That's Furkan. There you go. Now git check out Furkan. Now go back to your IntelliJ. Reload the package uh, project. Can you see it now? Yeah. There you go. You made it. So we're missing the stash part. So why stash? Is because probably you updated your uh, local repository. Now you need to copy that or stash it. You know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't touch it. You ran it. So IML thing. You have to say git ignore in order to ignore that IML. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay, everyone do it. Git stash, then git pull, git pull origin master, right? And then say git checkout master, git merge your branch name, then git checkout your branch name. Then you start working on it. Mafiboy? Yes. Mafiboy, can you just look at my screen real quick? I'm sorry to bother you. No, no, no bother. No bother. Should. As long as you can do the work, it's more important. Uh, show me your screen. Okay, share my webcam. Oh no, not my webcam, my screen. Okay. Uh, Fine. I, I did my webcam's off. Okay, here we go. Show my screen. Close this, your web. Please work on it. Okay, where is okay. Fundamentally it's doing wrong. Alright? Not to get because you have to understand that. Word is the repository. Yeah, you have to be in the repository first in order to execute this command. Okay. Fetch. One thing, guys. Shh, everyone. Shh. See, Aman is doing something fundamentally wrong. So if I call Aman from New York, where do you live, Aman? Maryland. Maryland. So can you hear me from New York? If, it, if there's no, you know, connection between you and me. No. no. So I have to be in Maryland, near your door. If I call Aman, come out. Can you come out? Yes. You are trying to perform some git command that doesn't know what is git about. You have to be inside the git project in order to run some command. So find the git project. It's right here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Sorry. No, 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 no. Git project, not the git tool. You already have the tool. It, it recognizes you. You have to be in the project. Do you have the project? Yes, I do. The um, 41. It's, it's in my. Uh, in the user. Should be the user. USERS, not that user. Do you have IntelliJ? Yes, I do. It's okay. right here. Where all these projects are? They are one second, Mafi Bay. I'm sorry. I just had them open in my. Uh... Did you put your branch on the GitHub? Did you add your name? Yes, I I do have it there. Okay, good. Applications? No, not applications. Sorry. Uh, users. Yeah. Aman, I, I sent you the link. You can just copy paste the link. The link? Uh, where'd you send me the link? Uh, on the chat room, like uh, on the chat. Yeah. Okay, one second. Uh, system library. No, it's not there. I saw the idle project. Go, to, go back to user. Okay, idle project right there. Sorry. So this is the one. This is the directory you need to be. Yep. Okay, so go to that directory in the terminal. Okay, so. Outside. What's happening? This is why you're repeating the course. You have to be serious. Okay. 
Wine Library, I'm on. I'm, I'm sorry, Mafia Boy, I'm in just... If you don't know where the ID project is, it's under user. CD users, then ID projects. Yeah. Okay. Users, capital, slash, US, and, and hit tab. Hey, hit tab. Guys, TAB is not too hard to do it in the world. Sorry, sorry. Good name. Your apology become policy. Just do the work. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Do the name. What's your name? Aman. Aman. Forget your name. All right. Then, idea projects, right? Is it? Yes. Okay. Then? And then, um... Okay, enter. Now you do get as long as you, you know, are inside of this. So okay. now, no, why connect? Is there any command connect? Okay, I, good, good, uh, get status, see what you are. I'm sorry, Mafi, but I'm, I just have a headache from trying to fix everything. All right, so now you're in this branch. So git stash. But right, git pull or what? No, okay, fine. Git pull origin master. Fine. Now do git checkout master. Fine. Now do git uh, merge. Give a branch name that you give me. Sure, this is branch name. On the GitHub, this is your branch name that you push it before. No. Come on. Yes. Yes. I'm on, I'm sorry, A capital, you know, both A capital. I'm on, sorry. All right, enter. Now git check out your branch. That's it, now go to your uh, uh, IntelliJ, open IntelliJ. Did you guys do it, figure it out? Now? Not yet? So what have you been doing the last five, ten minutes? <laughs> so you didn't join the last session? No, what do you mean no? You did last week. You <laughs> came yesterday. yesterday. But it's supposed to watch the whole video what you did the you know, week before. Um, Help me out, please. In the meanwhile, guys, raise your hand if you need help with the uh, Git. Okay, Mafi Bai, I just opened IntelliJ. Okay, now open the project. Don't import, simply open it. Simply open a new one, right? Open the project. Don't say create one, open. Open. Sorry, it was lagging. There you go. That's it, open. So, oh. so Mavi Bai, basically I just connected, okay, cool. Oh, open the project. All right, you are there now, see? So one of the methods I wrote for you, connect MongoDB, you're going to use that. Connect MongoDB. Yes, you're going to use this one. So I can call on this, right? You can call on this, but you can also modify it, right? You have to write more helper function to retrieve the data, you know. But I do wrote helper function for MySQL, and I do for my MongoDB. Rest you can do. Just stay, stay there. Uh, I'll go over the exam later on once everyone has ready. Stay there. Go ahead. Stay wherever you are, just, uh, you know, just be quiet. Okay, sorry. I'll go over the exam if you want to read those, but I'll go over myself with everyone else uh, once everyone is ready. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, SMHawk? SMHawk? If, you if you're not talking, guys, I cannot help you out. Uh, Mafibai. 
I said, Mom, fix your mic. This is like middle of the course. You're still struggling with the mic. Does it make sense? All right. Uh, Lawson. Lawson. Oh, yes, Mafi Bai. Right. Okay, so can you please help me uh, with GitHub because I need Yo, help. Once you raise your hand, please unmute from your side so I don't have to scream at you that, you know, calling your name 100 times. Right, everyone, please oh. unmute yourself from your side. So you are here now. Alexi, fine. Uh, show me what you have. Can you say Alice? Uh, where are you now? I don't see the projects. You, you should look for IntelliJ. Do you have IntelliJ? Yes, I do, right here. Go to that IntelliJ project. To any project? No, no, go to IntelliJ on your Git bash. Oh. Uh, hmm. Huh. It's like where it's located in my... Yes, the idea projects, right? Oh, oh, idea. Okay, hold on. Let me... Oh, I, I see. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, everyone, the this is the repository. I pushed it last week, and it's supposed to give you branch name. It's the same repository. You're going to go and pull it. Why so hard to find the directory? Excuse me, Murphy. Could you tell me? Uh, could you tell us what you want us to do right now? Because it's unclear. We're doing something. Everybody kind of uh, different stages. And that's not clear what we're doing. Who is it? This is Paul. Okay, Paul. All right. So what you're supposed to do now is uh, go to that repository from the Git Bash, right? Which is the coding that we have. So I updated the master branch. So you're going to pull from master, and you're going to merge onto your branch. Then you start working on the problem. All right. Now it's clear. Because okay. now I understand. But uh, I'm helping out to first merge issue someone having. And then I'll go over the exam what I'm looking for once everyone is ready. But meanwhile, get the march set ready. Okay, I, I don't remember where the idea folder was. You don't remember? You find it. It's under, okay, it's under users. And then. Idea projects. Oh, idea projects. Okay, I see it. And you didn't clone the project before? What's, no, I haven't. So, uh, did you give your branch? Yeah, I made the branch. Did you give so, the branch name, your branch name? What's that? Did you give your branch last week? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. So, so you, you should have that project on your local. Oh. See, guys, when I say we, if this is something we prepare for the exam, and I, I see a couple of students don't have that. Uh, Set up ready now. If you missed the class on um, last week, why didn't you catch up that? Why didn't you tell me tomorrow, yesterday? Uh, now clone it. It's fine if you didn't do it just before the end of the world. You can clone it. So git clone. Git clone, okay. Uh, what from here? What are your idea projects? In, in Git Bash, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Just copy the address bar you have and be there. Copy the address for idea projects, which is, yes, copy that. Just clone it. Uh, you can do it, follow, you can follow this step now. Go to idea projects. Okay, now go to your bash. Don't leave it this window. All right, so now you are there now, right? Enter. Enter? Yes. CD, you have to do CD first, right? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Who is this? Uh, this is SM, sir. Okay, I've been calling you so many times. Oh, sorry, sir. sorry, Pro. Actually, I'm not able to fix my microphone, uh, so I just need a little bit help about uh, Git. Uh, how do uh, you know what? Uh... Give me two seconds. Let me help uh, Lawson first. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I, I, for some reason, it's not 
it's not working. I hit CD and then um, paste like the directory, but it's not. How come it's not helping you? Uh, well, do you have different user? What's that? You have two different user? I don't think so. Okay. Now. Okay, so I'm in the C drive right now. So now type the commands. CD user Alex. Okay. Enter. Wow. Oh. What's happening there? It's on the C drive. Wasting time. This should be set up by now. I don't understand. It should be set up by now. See, you're supposed to close the repository last week. Where have you been last week? Well, I, I, I did uh, set up the... I just don't... I mean, I followed the instructions. Honestly, like, I don't understand what I did. I followed the instructions. It's right there. But I, I don't know how to, like, use the git bash to, to do that. I, like, the, the git bash, honestly, is very confusing to me. So, so go to CD. And uh, type... Okay, user, maybe. Like, user... Yes, enter. Oh, is it Mac or Windows? Uh, Windows. Okay, Windows. No, not see users. Uh, do PWD where you are. You know what? Get out of this. Uh, get out of this. Uh, get bash. Rest of the bash. Guys, if you don't follow in the class, you'll get fired on this spot when you even get a job. So, last week who never followed and you struggle with this. Wasting your time. How are you going to follow at a workplace if you get a job? We said we're going to use Git, and Git should be sorted out by now. All right, now go to this. Uh, I think you have two different users, look like. Now copy that address bar, OSC users, whatever in the name. Copy that. It was, uh, right here. Do it again. CD? Yeah. Okay. Enter. It's not working for some reason. Uh, okay, do Alice. Okay, can you find it from here? Um, so I, I do. Usually, all, all of my workspace stuff is in uh, People in Tech workspace. So when I go to CD, uh, so there's like the. I, like, I don't understand. Idea project is different than Eclipse. So workspace is for Eclipse. Idea project is for. Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Um, I think we did discuss about this. You know, it's nothing new that we have to, you know, talk about now. So this is proving. Everyone that not following the class. Well, I feel like I'm following the class. I just don't have this thing correct. Oh, this is this. Like, I know what space for Eclipse. Idea for this for Eclipse. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, I've been using workspace for everything. Um, so now, this people in tech workspace. Why not? Okay. Can you scroll up a little bit? You don't see the idea project there? No, no, idea. It's, it's going to be in a different folder. Like, the, this right here is a... Uh... So you have to go to that directory somehow. This right here is right here. This is... Okay, so you have to come here somehow from the directory. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why, but I can't. I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. Why? Go to C drive. Okay, go to users. Not, not there, here, here, on the, on the explorer. Go to user, open the user, 
Okay, how many users do you have? Just uh, administrator, just one. Okay, so you're gonna go Alex, is that one or? Yep, that's t and then ID projects is under my user, under users. So. All right, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes? What you can see? Can you tell me, Aman? Mongo Java driver, you have your uh, downloads open? Perfect, yes. All right, guys, I would take down. What are you looking for? So, if you open the source, you have a few things. Everyone, shh. If you're talking now, then you can ask me thousands of questions later on in the middle of the exam. But if you follow now, it's all clear. I didn't even drink a single glass of water from morning, and you guys took like more than 40 minutes break. It's supposed to be here by 1.30, and few people are still missing. I see like 1.37, 1.80, 180, uh, 1.40 came into the classroom. Why? You came at 1.40. You're not fixing outside, you're smoking outside. Okay. Not only you, some other folks also came late. All right, so starting with algorithms, the the favorite one. And you're saying you did the marks last time? Yeah. Okay, good. So you should be fine with this. So what we are looking for in algorithms is always read the command. This uh, comment is very important. This is what you're looking for. Show all different kinds of sorting algorithm by applying into num array. Display the execution time for each sorting algorithm example in below. Use any databases, MongoDB, Oracle, or MySQL to store data and retrieve data. This is what you're looking for. Fine. If I missed your GitHub, if you raise your hand, just look later. Let's finish up the. Uh, review of the exam that what are you looking for. So in the main method, we declare a num call 1000 number to store into the value, create a random class, and randomly is going to create those thousands, ten thousands value into that num array. Fine. Once you do that, it's unsorted. Of course it's unsorted. Then we are saying, okay, use a selection sort to sort an algorithm or use the insertion sort to set this algorithm. So now, execution time, we want to see how much time took, it took for 10,000 uh, integer value to sort it out by different sorting algorithm. One of them was selection sort, another one is insertion sort. So now, sort algorithm, we created called sort class, and we say, okay, algo equals new sort. I created it for you. Now here, algo dot selection sort, go there which is right here. So I implemented the selection sort. And you see right here, we say starting time and end time that give you end time minus starting time, the total execution time. We have a variable called execution time. So execution time for selection sort, number of milliseconds is going to return. And also you can call this variable to see how much time it took. Also, this will return the sorted array. This is one part. Fine. Now, rest of the algorithm you need to implement. So for execution time, you need to be added for other sorting algorithm too. Bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort, hip sort, shell sort, bucket sort, and that's all. Now, if you need helper method for, for example, merge sort, you can implement as you need. Now, now every sorting algorithm you should have a starting time and time. That way we outline here for insertion sort and selection sort. Same way you can do rest of the uh, algorithms. Yeah? So now once you're done implementing this, you'll be calling in the main method by saying this is for selection sort, this is for insertion sort, and rest of the sort algorithm you need to outline here by saying sorting algorithm for, which is, okay, algo dot, selection sort, insertion sort, you're going you're gonna to say here, merge sort, bubble sort, quick shot, shell shot, and continue until you're done. I need every 
sorting algorithms, how much time it took. Then it will give you what is efficient. Uh, so you need to also add these three lines for each cases. Is this clear? Question, raise your hand. So, Jim. So we need, we need to put this in database too. Now, you can store this in database either, either unsorted or sorted. I would say do sorted and store it. So, use that. So, how are you going to do? You're going to call MongoDB here or MySQL, right? After you select, after you sorted, sorted out, call this connect DB, right? Why? Once you do this, you're going to say connect db dot insert. Now, now you have to make sure that insert. If you say, do you have that method to insert it? We do have, and does it have an error to take? Yes, it does. Do we have a table name? Yes, we have a column name. So what you have to do is create a table name and column. Create a table with a column with integer in your MySQL or in MongoDB. You can do it by SQL Pro or your workbench, or you can simply use your terminal to do that. So using terminal, you can say create table sorted algorithms. And you can say, OK, column name, sorted numbers. That way I show you the lowest number. Remember? We're going to say, yes, so you got it. But once you created it, it was automatically created. No, 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 no. You have, to create a you have to create that table name in SQL, or you can write that code. Hey, in create a table name. You have option: either create a table name manually, going to that SQL Pro or our terminal, connect to my SQL, say, okay, create a table with column with that. All right. Then it, once the database is ready, table is ready, then you can insert, you start inserting them. Again, ConnectDB has few uh, helper methods. You can add more as you need to store, to retrieve, whatever as you wish. So sorting algorithm is, should be clear by now. Is it? OK, fine. Now, data, simply a, some self-driving car is no longer a futuristic idea. So we have a simple text. And this reader is going to call and store that text into a database by saying self-driving car table name. So you can store all the string into that table. So you can use buffer reader to, to read it and to store called ConnectDB. And again, you're going to read uh, ConnectDB dot read string from the database. This is data reader about. Fine. So this is all about algorithm data and reader. So we discussed about ConnectDB that have few things. Um, properties where as you have to switch your username. So I give you everything already. You have the root. Now password you need to change. Once you change the password, then you will be able to connect. This is all about ConnectDB. You have few uh, methods and few uh, connect to MongoDB, connect to MySQL. Then with this data structure, Use array list. Demonstrate how to use array list that includes add, pick, remove, retrieve elements. This is pretty easy one. Nothing about database, anything like that. More about how to use array list, how to use linked list, how to use map, how to use QA, how to use stack. This is very simple. Very structured. This should be clear. Any question on this? You should read the comments in order to uh, see the correct way. If you wish, this is a bonus. If you want to do it, go ahead. Definition is about conceptual questions. So you're going to say, OK, what is JDK contains and what is ID stand for? You're going to write the answer here. All right? If you need more lines, create more lines. And save it after you're done. Well, it's auto save in uh, IntelliJ, so you don't worry. So by doing this, answer all of these questions. Pretty much what you did in the quiz. Same way we have some data structure conceptual questions, then you're going to answer it. 
you need more space, make room. It's all about definition part. Design. Design is this. It's all about OP features. Your interface for employee. Employee is an interface which contains multiple unimplemented methods. Again, few methods has been declared in below. You need to very strong to add more methods to meet the business requirements. Please add the following method and understand the business requirements of these following methods. Employee ID, uh, employee name, assign departments, calculate salary, benefit layout. So what we are doing this is you're going to create a database for employee. He's going to do calculation for salary, bonuses, uh, personal time off, and uh, employee name, ID, stuff like that. So you're going to build some sort of database for employee system. And now this interface is created. You're going to create a class. You're going to create a class. And also, you're going to create, we say seeing an employee, it could be Amazon employee, whatever you name it. And you need to read this. You need to add more methods. I simply give you sample methods, but you can add more methods. And you need to store in MongoDB or MySQL or Oracle some of those uh, employee informations into the database. So you're going to have kind of use all different things, like all the abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and every concept possible using all different keywords, super, this, static, final, finally, finalized, and try catch. Everything needs to be implemented here. So this class can be implemented from an employee interface, then add additional methods in employee info class. Employee interface can be implemented into abstract class. So create an abstract class that inherit that abstract class into employee info class. Once you're done with designing employee info class, go to employee, see an employee class to apply all the different fields and attributes. So this is the class, it's concrete class, that can extend and inherit all those interfaces, and you can you can create more classes and methods as you need. But we want full-fledged one employee database, right? So it, it can uh, do some data modeling. It can use all the OP features, and this is the one that's important one that I am looking for. That you need to be thinking more and add more features onto this. Questions? Aman, go ahead. Uh, Mafi Bay, I'll actually ask the question after you're done um, everything. Okay. Sure. Is this clear now what is we're doing in the design? Design is more about um, designing all the OP features, using all the keywords, and having like building some employee database. Like employee can have day off or number of uh, years you work on the company. Based on that, you can calculate some bonus, yearly salaries employee profiles, this all kind of things you can uh, think and add more things. So this is our design. Math problems, factorial problems. Factorial of 5 is this. 5 times 4 times 3, so you're going to decrement. You're starting with number 5, you're going to decrement by 2 uh, to 1. The factorial of 5 is 120. So write the Java program to find factorial of given number using recursion as well as iteration. Second, math problems. So know what is factorial of uh, any number means, and write Java code to the, find the factorials. Now, find the missing number. You are given an array of 10, and then find the missing number from this array. OK? Lowest number, what we did, and uh, give you the array of numbers, find the lowest value from this array. And we also show you that how to connect this databases and store the database these numbers and find the lowest number and print out to the console this is the lowest number. We went over this uh, while I was showing you the kind of DB. It should be clear. So this is the this is the example you can follow all connection to database for any other problems we are, we are required. That is connect DB, connect DB dot insert. So now I already created table lowest number, column column lowest number. This is the thing you need to create in your MySQL by either Terminal or SQL Pro, whatever you're comfortable. Once you create that, you'll be able to insert it, and you'll be able to read it. 
Okay, this is uh, kind of done uh, in terms of database connection. All you have to do is find the lowest number. So that could be in between these two lines. Between 15 and 16, you can implement that logic, finding the lowest value of this uh, array. Okay, the pattern problems we have. With these numbers, find the pattern, then implement the logic from this pattern, which will give you that output. So starting from 100, go up, go up 32, and you'll find the patterns. Once you find the pattern, implement that. Implement that uh, in Java. You can use databases to connect, to store this, to manipulate that. Prime numbers we did in the class. Find the list of prime numbers from two to million. You should return the number of prime numbers we have, and try to optimize your algorithms possible using less CPU time and memory. Use any databases, MongoDB or MySQL or Oracle, to store and retrieve. This is all, all about math problems. The parser one is also an interesting one, but I did most of the work for you. The rest you can uh, just, you know, missing puzzle you have to, missing part you have to, you know, put it together in order to work. That is, a student is a database, first name, last name, score, ID. So what you're going to do is grab a student data. So this is how it works in a web application. They use XML, right? They use JSON to get data from from the server. Same way we're trying to get some flavor. That's how it works in the real world. That is, let's say we are processing web applications and it's sending some data to the XML. And you need to parse that data from the XML into your applications. So we created a student pack, uh, class and have name, first name, last name, score, and ID. Now, this the XML is given right here. XML is given for QTB student. XML is given for Selenium students. We'll come back to that. Now we need XML parser for that. I already parsed it for you. So you're saying XML reader. That is parsing you. Parse data. So I'll give you the tag name, which is ID, and the path of the XML, and you're going to parse it. So we, we, we're parsing it already here. All I'm asking you is this is you have to do convert from a score into a grade. So if you receive 85, you should return grade as B. If you, re if you receive 91, you should return grade A. So you need to implement this method. And the important part is this class is, is, is very important. Guys, shh. So now, while you're talking, guys, once I'm done, you can talk. So this class, process for information, is that you're running, this is the main method, is going to be path for Selenium students, which is XML, Selenium XML. Then path for QTB students. I already set up for you. So now you need to do is follow the steps. If I say declare a map with list of string, declare that here. So you need to declare two array list with the student of data types to store Selenium students into into the error list and YouTube students to another error list. So declare two error lists and declare a map here. And then create a par XML parser object, which is this we're talking about. So create an object of this class into, into this line here, line 47. And then parse data using the parse data method and then store data into the Selenium error list. Parse the data is going to a QTB error list, and then add Selenium error list data into map, add QTB error list into the map, retrieve map data and display the output, and that output should look like this. So we have two XML right here, one for QTB. So Paul M get his score 100, he should return Paul as grade, grade A, Otman score, Otman summit, has 75 score, you should return maybe C. Don't, it's not, don't get offended about score here, just random. Uh, Rajiv Dash get 80, uh, should, should return as B, so on. We have Selenium students also, same way. Mukbula, last name constructor, until she figured it out her last name would be constructor. So then we have Ijan Khan, 95, Karin Narashid. So all you need to do, parse by ID, and get the score, return that grade. So these two 
these two databases, which is coming from XML free, uh, XML, uh, what do you call, the path, and we have to parse it here by this method. How are you going to parse? By tag name and path. What is your tag name? Tag name is ID, right here. So once you declare this, once you call the parser, you're going to parse the ID and the path of the student's name, which is uh, Selenium students, QDB students. So this is important, guys. You need to pass the tag and pass that path of the student's names, uh, list of students. One for Selenium, one for QDB. So now this should be clear. We store into that database MongoDB or MySQL or Oracle. And uh, what I'm looking for, the output should be this. OK, this clear? This is the person. The problems. Write in Java code to check if the two strings are anagram. What is anagram? anagram. For example, cat. Cat. cat and SAT has the same letters, but two different words. Army and Mary, two different words, but same letters. That's an anagram. So write the Java code to determine if the given word is anagram or not anagram. Clear? Good. Nothing about databases here. OK, duplicate words. Given a string, right? It's all about the string problems. Given a string, find the duplicate words. Also find the average length words. You must read the comment for the criteria. Permutation. Permutation of a string ABC is ABC, BAC, BCA, SCB, CAB. So all permutations possible from ABC given. So write Java code to compute all permutation of a string. So that's all your exam. And if you can finish up by 8 p.m. <laughs> yes. Sir. Uh, like any other question, this is applicable for any other question. Like, okay. let's say you say to demonstrate arrays or whatever, yeah. and then in the end, you ask me to, like, you know, connect with the database. And I didn't partially write, like, I answered it in coding wise, but I didn't connect it to the database. So I should get the, you know, like, partial. Partial credit, but you should connect the database. Uh, I know, but. Yeah. You know, um, you should do. Uh, yeah. Anyone? Sh Guys, so how much time do you need for this? Next week Saturday. <laughs> no, no, no. Next week Saturday we should be talking about HTML and JavaScript and CSS. Well, um, we have that to do as well. This is like everything yes. Saturday. All right, so be fair. Uh, I know it took long today to uh, look set up. So how about tonight, 12 a.m.? <laughs> But yeah, I think our hangout is going to crash. Yeah, like, I don't think All right. How about, how about tomorrow? 12 a.m.? 12 a.m. maybe. That's a lot of All right. OK. Let's take it. Let's go. Let's go. OK. Online, what is your response? Online, what is your response? Now. <laughs> Guys, one second. That is, uh, I know there is, uh, it will take some time, but most of the things you already did in the class. All right? And some math problems, uh, if you're not come from an engineering or science background, do some research. What is, uh, uh, one, one example, factorial is, what is prime numbers uh, discussed about in the class. And uh, the rest, you can just Google it if you are confused. Write in uh, Hangout, someone will answer it. All right, so how about? <laughs> how about just a regular homework day, like Friday night? <laughs> it's going to you're going to waste that one week. No, no, I mean, no. Now, that's not the only thing we have. We have all the XML. All right, all right. Look, Monday, Tuesday. How about Wednesday? Be fair. Shouldn't take more than Wednesday, all right? So let's return it by Wednesday night. So I'll be checking uh, on Wednesday. But you should start exam now, and don't wait until Wednesday. Afi, bye. Yes, I want. 
Would it be cool with you if some of us got together and kind of did it together? You can discuss. I, I, but uh, I encourage you to discuss and think, but don't and, and share the whole. Okay. Guys, as Amman was saying, can you discuss? Yes. Yes. You can walk as a group, but do not copy and paste the folder. All right. You can discuss. Okay. Walk as a team. That's fine. Okay. Uh, well, open book doesn't mean you can Google it and find a certain paste it. Then you're going to say thanks to Google. Yeah. And you should, everyone should solve all the problems. All the problems. Since you're taking time, you should solve all the problems. All right, what is this final? Are you okay with that one instead? Yes? In class? Guys. You were you talking a lot today. So is one is the fine? Okay. In, in classroom? Uh, in online? <laughs> Alright, we'll see Wednesday how the things goes. If you need another few hours on Wednesday. Okay, when uh, Thursday morning then. But yeah. I'm expecting one tonight. Okay? Alright. So in the meantime, anyone need help with GitHub, let me know. Regardless, if you join late to the course, you should try to solve the problems. Okay? Do not give up because okay, you think it's complex. You should not think that way. If there's a complex problem, you can fix it, you can solve it by breaking the pieces as a you know, do as a group. But you should solve it. Yes, Paul. Unmuted. Please do not talk now. Let, you can do groups later on, once I leave the room. So you want set up for IntelliJ, you said? Missed it. you want to know, the question is that step-by-step step, uh, from GitHub to IntelliJ and IntelliJ to Is it the concern about submission of the exam? Uh, how to do that? Or is it like Okay, sure. It's an important question. Guys, right. so once you, everyone should work on your own branch. That is, you can pull the master, then you need to merge into a branch. So that part is okay. Okay, so. Give me a second. Let's finish up, then you can uh, you can ask. Guys, shh. so so you are working on on the problems now, all right? It's given. It's it's on your branch. Write all the problems. You do the solution right for all the problems. Once you think you're done, once you're done, what you can do is uh, let's say I'm working on a few things. That is. Yeah, yeah, one second. Let me add a few things with this on the problems. Uh, okay. Math problems. Lowest. Okay, the lowest number, for example, right? We can add, add here.
Yeah, I need some changes, right? And then, so we say git status. You see the change? I, I'm master branch. I shouldn't be. I should be on. Uh, should be on another branch. So, git. Okay. Right. So now git checkout. And Brahman, right? This is the branch I created. So, so I'm on my own branch, and I'm start writing code on my own branch, and then. On the branch, I'm saying that let's my SQL database, right? All right, fine. I'm just writing some uh, comment, and it's, it should be saved. Now I'm going to say git start to see the changes. So lowest number one I modified looks like. Guys, watch it. Important. So git stash show you that which branch you are and what changes you made. So git add dash u and commit. Then you say, okay, I added in the lowest number class, right? So I work on lowest number problems. This is a message about fine. Two file changes. Now it's a git push origin my branch name M Roman. Right? Username, password, that should be there now. So if we go back to GitHub, right, and look for M Roman branch. Right here, right? So if I find my branch name, click on there, then I can think I can see the changes I made this minute ago. So I met problems. I can see the, the comment I made. Right? So this is how you're gonna do. Very simple command. What do you need then? Uh, git status, right? See what changes we have? Git add you, git commit. Git push origin, your branch name. That's it. Uh, so we can type it in a, maybe hang out. So git, you see the changes, right? So git add contract file, which is your contract file. Git commit message. Uh, function right and then git push origin your branch name should I say that your branch name yeah right that's it You already on your branch. But I was not on my branch before, that's why I had to do the checkout. Since you are, you should be on your branch. If not, then do checkout. Again? No, no, no. What is there? One is new, I said one is there. Yeah. If we see one is the night, if we see, you know, we need more time, then we'll we can extend to Thursday. Let's not keep that, you know, on touch now. We'll try to finish by one is there. Huh? 
the night, midnight is fine. Thank you. But then what did you give me give me your username first? Space? Why space? The first. It, it shouldn't be in space. Yes. This one? So what did you say? One, two, three? Okay, it's signed. So you can, uh, you can check your email to accept it. Can you, did you clone it? Why? What did you clone it? Why should I try it? Oh, try now. class to read it, but store into MongoDB and then retrieve from MongoDB or MySQL. So use the try catch block and find exception and use the buffer reader class to read it. It is file reader also. Now where did this come up? Who put this my master here? Ah oh, man, I should put it here. Hmm. Alright, so let's Guys, let's see. ignore this marcer, okay? Anything you do it on your own.